All right, we'll begin with the narrow note scarcity crisis Nigerians are currently experiencing ahead of the 10-day extension for the swap of ordinary notes across Nigeria. Despite the deadline, many Nigerians are finding it hard to get access to Naira, both old and new notes. Hughes plagued the ATMs throughout the week and has shown no sign of letting up. In some states, protests have, uh, have taken place, especially as POS operators charge exorbitant prices for their services. In the meantime, President Mohamed Bouhari has asked Nigerians to give him seven days to resolve the crisis caused by the scarcity of new Naira notes. Joining me now in the studio, I have political analyst and executive member, Joint Action Front, Achike Chudi. Welcome to the show. It's a pleasure, Jacinta. All right, Achike. Nigerians are lamenting over the idea that they can't even have access to their hard-earned money. Uh, do you think the, whole, uh, the idea of 10 days uh, extension is even enough? Uh, the president is going to be under immense pressure if uh, the 10 days uh, do not uh, produce expected results. Uh, this is what he told them. Um, I mean, yeah, that, that is even the essence of uh, Because um, before this uh, 10 days um, was communicated to Nigerians, uh, the CBN government <coughs> had gone to see him. Obviously, the president is aware of uh, the deep angst in the land over their inability to access their monies. And it's not a funny situation. We have seen riots and protests in uh, some parts of uh, the country, and that is dangerous. Uh, so obviously, he's pleading to Nigerians to give him um, you know, a, a chance. Um, but what happens if, uh, uh, perchance, uh, nothing meaningful is done after you know, uh, 10 days? That will put a lot of pressure on him. And uh, he would have to look for a way to clean house. I don't also forget that uh, the uh, governors of the APC went to meetings specifically, specifically for this. And uh, if I, it was even the reason why uh, the government of uh, Kano State did not even want him to visit Kano in the first instance, because they said people were suffering as a result of his policy, uh, this uh, monetary policy, the redesigning of uh, the you know, Naira. So uh, he has, I understand he has given a matching order on uh, the CBN to get their acts right. Obviously, they have given him assurances that within 10 days, uh, Nigerians will begin uh, to see a change uh, in the process. So we hope that that happens. Uh, if it doesn't happen, like I said, the president will be under pressure to do something about it. And uh, uh, he has this, um, I don't know, a lot of people believe that uh, uh, he has this confidence, uh, you know, the, uh, a certain degree of confidence in MFLA, uh, that MFLA's uh, appointment was uh, reconfirmed. Uh, by the president that he was reappointed the second time. And in spite of all, so many controversies, uh, including his incursion into the politics of Nigeria, that the president still has uh, maintained, has retained him there. Uh, but this time around, I think if um, there is no meaningful change, uh, Mefele will have a problem, I think, from the president. That's my own thinking. Um, so whether they will be able to deliver in 10 days, make sure that, uh, ensure that uh, the money is circulated, I'm not exactly sure, but I know that um, Officials of the CBN have been going from bank to bank, you know, trying to make sure that uh, uh, bank officials are in compliance uh, with the directive of uh, the CBN. We have already seen how even the banks themselves are also involved in the sabotage of uh, this policy. Uh, how these money is able to get into in, in the hands of a terrorist mm -hmm. is something that is uh, mysterious in a way, and uh, in the hands of politicians, while the very people whose lives depend on it are not able to access this money, you know, this uh, money. So uh, this position, this uh, situation is absolutely unsupportable and condemnable. And uh, we hope that uh, within these seven days that uh, Nigerians would see a difference. All right, Achika, you recall that one of the reasons behind this Naira redesign is that it is targeted at uh, halting the vote buying in election. And some are saying if this is so, there shouldn't even be any extension. What do you think? Well, I think it's, uh, the president was between the devil and the deep blue sea. Mm. Uh, he was under tremendous pressure. I mean, uh, um, uh, protests were going on in parts of the country. And uh, these protests, if you consider the extent of uh, anger and hunger in the land, you realize that it's a very dangerous situation. And so anything that can be done to reduce it or to eliminate it completely should be done. So I think the president had that. Don't forget that... Uh, Members of the National Assembly are asking for even a one-year extension, and uh, so many other politicians are saying, 
it should be a continuous exercise for quite some time. So the president only gave 10 months, I mean, sorry, 10 days of extension. And uh, uh, so we, we, we hope that uh, he will be able to get uh, the job done. If, 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 if he's not able to, then it might be really a problem. All right. What do you also say to the idea of the, Naira, the old Naira being alongside with the new notes to fizzle out gradually? If that's your point, some are saying if it's like that, the, 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 the circulation will continue it to keep being in circulation. So what was your stand here? Yeah. You, well, you know, I think there was something I, I missed out when, you know, the last question you asked, that the issue of... Um, you know, vote by, and I didn't address it directly. Mm. Uh, well, we hope, you know, from that perspective, look, as long as Nigerians are satisfied, as long as Nigerians have access to uh, money, I'm sure most Nigerians, including myself, I do not care whether money is getting to the hands of politicians. We don't even want money to get into their hands. Let them just do their job. Let them, you know, uh, uh, preach a message, you know, of uh, hope to the people. Let them tell the people and convince the people on why they should vote for them. Let them not you know, induce the people uh, with money because, I mean, they have continued to use uh, you know, uh, hunger as a weapon, uh, you know, to use and manipulate the people during election. So if it's just about uh, the money, people having access to the money, I'm perfectly okay with it. But for the politicians, I think it, the, hopefully the situation, you know, should remain uh, 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 that way. And then I think you also asked me about... Um, the idea of uh, the Naira being uh, yeah the yeah old well, Naira well, being well, well there are people who have Naira. said there are people who have said that um, uh, this is what happens everywhere mm -hmm. and you know of course you know that uh, the CBN had said that once the deadline is passed that all the old currencies would have uh, yes, would no longer be legal tender mm -hmm. but the excess I mean the uh, the, the uh, what we have found out in other parts of the country where this kind of exercise takes place is that over a period of time, this is sustained until the old money uh, you know, goes out of circulation. So you cannot mm. exactly punish uh, people after the deadline. And the CBN has come at, actually to clarify that issue and has set some minds on, I mean, at ease by that. But I think that the target really is the politics and the politicians mm. to ensure that uh, they, they do not have access uh, for, to this money uh, during uh, 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 the election. Mm. Uh, so, but again, when you say it has to be in circulation uh, with the old money, becomes a bit of a problem.